It was very common in the 70s, 80s and 90s and early 2000s for a family to use blank VHS tapes and record their favourite TV shows. Most of the time, tapes have been recorded over numerous times. And now it's up to me to find the last mystery VHS tape and see what shit we can salvage. This is Mystery Tape Time. Oh, you're back. What is up? We are back with another mystery tape. We have pulled another tape out of the big box of mystery tapes that we have. And this one is called WA vs Victoria 1986. So this can only mean one thing, Australian rules footy. It's got to be 1986 of course. Um, hopefully there's some ads, but let's always do what we do and show you what's at the start of the tape. First thing, that just pops up. I see. So she takes time off between robberies to give her hair a quick rinse. So I don't know what the fuck that actually show was, um, but I guess she wants to do a, a big hair wash and give her hair a rinse before she does a robbery. But anyway, I've watched this tape fully. We've converted it, put it onto the computer. I'm gonna show you all the best bits that we could find off this 1986 uh, videotape. And um, there's some okay stuff on there. Yes, there was a full footy game. Uh, and there was a few bits and pieces. So let's have some fun. Let's go through it and uh, let's show you all the good shit that was on this table. Coming up next on 7, it's a battle royale. A replay of the state of origin football. WA versus the Big V. And what a killer game it was. I watched the whole thing. Uh, I'm not going to show you uh, really any of it because it goes for damn long. But um, maybe I'll put a few clips in, I don't know. But uh, what we want, we want commercials. That's what we're here for is commercials. So let's do it. Please be happy for me, Mum. How can I be happy if you're marrying him? Well, pretty fucking harsh. <laughs> Sons and daughters, will Beryl ever accept Wayne as her son-in-law? If you give me a fair go, you can see your daughter as often as you like. Otherwise... Good old daytime drama, sons and daughters. Does anyone still watch that? Watch that on replays? So the WA versus Victoria game started, and this game was fucking awesome. This is back when footy was hard. You could smash, you could hurt, you could do... Not whatever you wanted, but you could, it was it was a good rough game. I loved it. Uh, 1986, State of Origin. They don't do State of Origin anymore, so this is a classic. Um, actually, this game is probably hard to find, and probably people would want this uh, 1986 WA versus Victoria game. Uh, but like I said, I'm not going to play that on here today. If uh, someone wants a copy of it or wants to buy the video. Um, Bidding wars are open. What kind of man would work all day and hit the track straight away? He's heading out while Perth is heading home. It's a hard and lonely road, but he shares a special code. He's got the guts to make it on his own. What drives a man to race? To really push the pace. Though there's pain enough to fear And when the pressure's on What keeps him hanging on? I guess that's how we make them over here That's the stuff we're made of That's the stuff we're made of That's the stuff we're made of over here It's near enough, it's not good enough We're made of the right stuff And the right stuff I love Emu Export. Emu Export is one of my favorite beers here in Western Australia. That is a wicked ad because it looks like it's a triathlon marathon man about working hard 
and then he gets his reward at the end. He gets an emu export. Delicious. That is a fucking cool emu export ad. That is one of our top ads of all time so far on all these tapes. My first car! <laughs> and your first insurance premium. <sighs> Never mind. Your dad's car's insured with SGIO, isn't it? Who's that little geeky prick think he fucking is? Getting involved in the fucking neighbor's fucking little personal fucking insurance talk. You're all good drivers. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're eligible for a 20% discount in your first year. <gasps> and if your mum insures with SGIO, she'll receive an introduction. He's an interfering little fucking prick, isn't he? Mind your fucking business, you little geek. Only SGIO has family discount plans. Call and see how much your family can save. Fucking hell, is that guy with the creepy voice again. He's back again. He's got the very best voice you'll ever hear. Are you gassing the ones you love? Carbon monoxide, a component of all exhaust gases, is an invisible killer. And it can seep into your car if the exhaust system is faulty or poorly fitted. It's a bit of a morbid ad, isn't it? Gas masks. Going to be extreme there, don't you think? But over the top. And now our distinguished soloist will play How to Succeed in Small Business Without Running All Around the Country. Get on the phone and get on with business. <laughs> that actually could be one of the, that could be going up the top there is one of the best ones. That, I like that. That's a telephone. Kids, if you don't know what she's playing on, it's a telephone. We used to use them before mobile. They said you'd never make it. You should have stayed back west. And Ginger, you won't kick on against Australia's best. They said you'd never make it. Then the knockers went to town. Too slow, too sharp, too loose, son. The big league set thumbs down. They said you'd never make it. But you finally came through. For all of you who made it. I really love Australia's beer ads in the 90s and the 80s and that is just a perfect, that is just a perfect uh, ad there. I had to leave the whole thing in, people probably skip it or leave, but uh, that's a damn good inspirational beer ad. There's two beer ads on this. Uh... They were renegades hunting wild animals. She became the target of their savage hunt. She was fair game. They hunted her. They terrorized her. Now they pay the price. Fair game. Fair game. Rated M commences Friday at Cinema City Parkline and Moonline. Drive. Oh, the drive-ins. They were the best. Fair game though, has anyone ever seen that movie? Because I haven't seen that movie. So I actually want to watch that now. So if you can put down in the comments if that movie's any good, because it does look pretty good. So let's look it up. It's not on Netflix. I've got Save Mania, and you're going to get it too. Because right now your Toyota dealer has... I think you're going to creep everyone out before they even want to come to your store to buy a car. Save Mania! Save, 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 save Mania! If they sing... When I rock up to buy a car, I will buy the car. That was pretty inspirational for me to purchase. Radio Super Saving Old Corolla, now only $8,989. That's a Save Mania super deal. And there's more. You'll save a mint with Toyota Save Mania. He's fucked in the head. He's cooked. He's cooked. I do like those women, but he's cooked. This ad next up is one of the best Australian icon ads I can remember from when I was a kid from the 80s. Watch and see if you remember this ad. Ready to go? Yep. <laughs> Problems like this call for an original solution. Now this bloke's got common sense. You can tell by his strides and shirt. The original Australian King G drill. Made for people who don't mess around. Good fit and down to earth. 
They don't try to look good, so they do. The original King G drill, made for people who don't want to I love that ad. That King G ad, he was the shit. He just walked off like he was the man. He had no worries. A bit of a Burt Reynolds look. The girls were frothing. Perfect ad. All right, so take a look at this umpire that is bouncing the ball now. Look how high his shorts are. Look, <laughs> we got a sick mullet there to the right, but look how look how tight his shorts are. That is crazy. I wanted to show you a little bit, not his tight shorts, but I want to show you a little bit of a biff here. This is how we uh, used to do it back in the 80s. The old footy players, not too much of a biff, but for a state of origin uh, match, there is a sick mullet. That is a fucking beautiful mullet right there. Look at that mullet just waving around. So then we got this random show that started after the football. Uh, it is called Knots and Landing, or Knots Landing. So Knots Landing, uh, look, it's starring uh, this prick. I don't know who this fucking prick is, but uh, there's Alec Baldwin. It's starring Alec Baldwin. Another little prick that I have no idea who it is, and that guy with lots of lines on his forehead. Listen up, everybody. Uh, there's a gentleman over there that would like to treat all of you to a double cheeseburger, fries, and a large drink. So, whenever you're ready. He's treating everyone to a double cheeseburger, a large fries, and a drink. What a bloke. Who would go up and do that? Now, they love him now, but half the fucking people don't give a shit and they're just going up to get their fucking free fries and fucking burger. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey, that's my car extravagance. So he thinks he's king shit now. Absolute king shit. She thinks he's a dickhead because he just wasted fucking hundreds of dollars on random people. And he's laughing about it. This next ad, I couldn't believe it. Could be one of my favorites. I didn't know WWF, WWE did an ad for an Australian ad in the 80s. Just have a watch of this. A Toyota Hilux double cab gets four big men to the job. What it makes light work of a big three-quarter ton payload. Toyota Hilux. You can't beat it. A lot of feeling. Crew and cargo. Toyota. I couldn't believe it when that ad popped up and I was watching this video and I was like, that's the killer, that's the killer bees. That is the killer bees. What are they doing a Toyota ad? And that was Mean Gene Oakland. Mean Gene Oakland doing the uh, voiceover, so fucking well done, WWF. Continental cup of soup. You can drink it anywhere. Why would you drink a cup of soup up in a hot air balloon? You would be shitting yourself. Shitting yourself. You wouldn't be wanting no fucking cup of hop of cup fucking hot, hot cup of soup shit. Alright guys, that was the end of the tape. So what we always like to do at the end of the tape is uh, we well, we know what year it was, so we'll get up there. So, 1986. So, 1986 joins the crew, but if you see already, we already have 1986 on there. So, 1986 has now had two, two tapes, which is pretty fucking cool. So, yeah, we've got 1986, 88, 89, 90, 95, 96, and 97. So next week, hopefully, we pull out another 80s or a 90s tape. Cheers for watching, everyone. Please give a thumbs up. Please give a subscribe. Please click the bell icon. These are every Wednesday. Wednesday in Australia. So I guess it's Tuesday in America. My American friends. And I uh, really do appreciate you watching. We've got Kiss reviews on Monday. We've got uh, horror movie reviews with the troll on Fridays. And we've got... Uh, Thrifting stuff. We always do thrifting stuff on here as well because I originally was the VHS thrifter. I love my videos. Thanks for joining in. We're definitely going to uh, put our hand in the uh, the old box. I'm going to put my fist in the box and I'm going to grab out another video for next week. We're going to have a watch of it. We're going to convert it and we're going to see what's on the tape. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.